Yo, Mike Checker, Microphone Wrecker. Yes, now bless now. There's Rocksteady in the house at King of the Pit TV. Oh, I got a nice little tool today. Bada bing, bada boom. Thought I'd caught myself a little summer at the weekend. I'm going to give you a little review and a little rating, yeah? So we've listened to a couple of Ramones records now. Uh, including the self-titled, obviously. We started off there. And then we moved on to Leave Home, alright? Oh, and... <laughs> People, I'm tired. I graft. I've been grafting hard, all right. So, leave home. Yeah, in particular, I've been having a couple of run-throughs of the remastered. All right, I did the same with the debut. Not only did we listen to the original recordings, or at least some way down the line, I personally listened to the original recordings. Aside the remasters, I've done it with leave home as well now this album came out not so long after the debut like there was a very brief uh period in between the release of the two so either they got straight to work or these tunes were you know left on the back burner which i don't know if that's the case but i do know that bands do that you know they come with a wealth of material at the start and sometimes they'll apply some of the other material onto a latter record now that sort of has an effect for the most part as to where the second record doesn't really have the emphasis and the magic of the first purely as it's like, you know, it's not it's not the best songs that were chosen for the first. And I say that to say this record is good, but it isn't as good as the debut. All right. And within this, the second record, we're starting to see a pattern emerge of the early Ramones process of sort of just creating songs, hoping that they will stick, all right? Some of these songs, to me, don't have, you know, some of, the melody either hits you or it doesn't, people. We're looking at three chords a song, three power chords a song, two sections a song, you know, and if the vocal melody, if the chorus doesn't hit you with the right emphasis, doesn't establish a good hook if you like me find a particular melody a bit corny or some along the lines of that and find the track skippable then you're not going to return to that track but some of the songs will hit you if you're a fan of the Ramones you like some songs I doubt you will like them all as an entirety that's the same with any band didn't it really but the Ramones are pushing the boundaries at this stage in their career they just come into the table with two power chords three power chords, a hook, maybe a slight verse, you know what I mean, which is also going to essentially be written a like a chorus section and they're just going to get straight into it. That being said, uh, there are some good tunes on here that I do enjoy. Uh, the production of this is a little cleaner, a little more modern than what we had on the self-titled record. Uh, do I like it? You know what, I think the original uh, record had a great budget, you know, relatively budget recording because uh, on the Wikipedia they make an emphasis that it was recorded for like 6.4 uh, grand, that's what we'd call it here, $6,400, uh, which in the 70s would still be, you know what I mean, a couple of quid, it's still not a cheap record to make but... Uh, relative to you know what the labels were fronting for some of the rec some of the great records at the time, you know it wouldn't won't fare very close. Uh, but I think I think they definitely got their money's worth on the debut. Uh, the guitar tones in particular I really liked on this record. It's a little more sharp. It's a little more of a mature sound. In particular, the vocal production is you know a lot sharper, a lot more uh, of a, a better clarity and so forth. But I don't think me personally it doesn't it doesn't doesn't touch me the way uh, the original uh, record was recorded. So you know I know this is a a review and the rating of the album Leave Home, but I can't leave out the fact that its predecessor, the self titled was in my opinion a fantastic record it was a really good record so th those high standards here very high standards so we 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 approach these songs with the same sort of emphasis we're still high tempo high energy you know we've not we've not taken our foot off of the gas whatsoever 
But I do think there are a few more misses when it comes to the melodic content, when it comes to the actual, you know, writing of the uh, the vocal content. I think there's a few more misses than there was on the debut. And that's that's what I think in regards to that. I mean, that's it. Honest, honestly, the Ramones are such a minimal act in regards to this particular period of their career. The music they were creating was great, unique. I mean, you can't put down what the Ramones have done, but you can only have so much to say about the band because instrumentally it serves a purpose. It gives an energy, it paints the picture and then lyrically speaking melodically speaking it's going to be a hit or a miss you either enjoy the song or you don't enjoy the song it's going to be one or the other and then we're going to click the next track we're probably going to have near about the same experience instrumentally and whether the melodic um you know elements of the the vocal content touches you there and then fingers crossed it does if it doesn't we just wait for the next track i'm going to rate this record uh, a 5 out of 10. I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. Quite possibly I'd give it a 6 if we didn't have the self-titled prior to it. But this just feels like, you know, they had to put another record out. And they used the same formula. And given that they used, you know, they had their sound on the debut record. To have another record of it, them just, you know, trying to create the same hook after hook after hook after hook. Um, you started to think, can, can we not just have something a little different? Can we not just have something a little different? So what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to have a little revision of uh, Rocket to Russia. And I'll give you a review on that because I think we still sort of are within the trilogy of the initial Ramones records where they were in this stage of writing songs in this particular manner before they tried a couple of new things out. So we'll see what Rocket to Rush is saying. But, you know, this one was a good record and I enjoyed listening to it. I've got the reaction song by song on the channel my experience listening to it was a fun one it is a fun band it is a fun record but as far as replay value is concerned uh you know what i mean some songs more than others all right i'm signing out peace